Hey guys, my name is Chelsea, also known as Tragic Glamour, and I'm a photographer out here in the East Bay, about 45 minutes east of San Francisco in Northern California. I travel sometimes, so you can always check out my travel dates on, tra on Instagram at, at Tragic Glamour, or you can go on my website, tragicglamour.com, and check out my portfolio, images of my studio, all kinds of other good stuff that you can really indulge in and figure out, like, see what it's like to shoot with me. Anyway, here's a little video just to show you a little bit about my personality and to tell you a little bit about me. I have been a photographer for 10 years, since I was 17, 27 now, and I have really been concentrating on it for the past three and have made it officially my career as of this year. And I'm really excited about it. My future goal is to be a high fashion and celebrity photographer, and I know I'm going to do it. It's going to be awesome, because I'm worth it. <laughs> Wait. When I was that from? Anyway, um, my two biggest inspirations in photography are David LaChapelle and Ellen von Unworth. And I definitely feel like my work and me as a person and my kind of a creation of the two. So I definitely see myself moving in that direction and I really am excited for the future as far as where my work is going. I feel like every single time I get behind that lens, it's just like a new, learning experience. Everything that I am bringing to that camera, I'm trying new things, I'm trying new lighting, I'm trying new Photoshop skills, I'm doing all kinds of stuff to try and make it the best that I could possibly be because bettering yourself is just the best way to be. I like to work with everyone. That includes all races, all sizes, all genders, all ages. I like to work with everyone. I think that variety is the spice of life. That's why in my photography, I like to do so many different styles of photography because I don't like to just get stuck at doing one. When there's so many options in the world, why would you just choose to do one thing? I like to do all the things, all the things. And that includes, I like to shoot with a lot of different kinds of people. So whether you have tattoos or no tattoos, colored hair or regular hair, whether you're the plain Jane or some spicy mama or <laughs> I want to make you feel like a queen for a day or a king if you're a guy but I don't get to work with a lot of guys so maybe you'll be one I don't know I have a variety of different price packages on my website everything from a really cheap price to get a couple to get one or two looks in just to get a feel for it to maybe get some headshots or some boudoir shots for your man or for you because honestly I feel like photo shoots should really be for you you shouldn't really do them for other people but Sometimes photo shoots are necessary. You have to do headshots. You have to have family photos. You have to do all that kind of stuff, and I do all of that. Or you can just do it for fun. You can do it to submit to a magazine. You can do it to just for fun for you to hang out around the house. You know, put yourself on your wall like Paris Hilton. I mean, it happens. And then it happens. There's all kinds of reasons to have a photo shoot, and I would love to explore all of them with you. Because I've done modeling in the past, I have experience posing and I can help pose all different kinds of body types. Because I've also been a makeup artist since I was 15 and used to do makeup for different photo shoots. But now I do makeup mostly for my own photo shoots. I went to school at FITM, the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising in San Francisco, for graphic design. And I have an AA degree in it and so I've actually learned Photoshop in a class. I have taken on a lot of other Photoshop skills since then, but I like to always let people know that I do have a background in that because it is very helpful in making sure that people look like people and that this is going to come out to be a quality photo shoot that's magazine quality. I have invested a lot of money and a lot of time into preparing my home studio and getting the right equipment and doing all kinds of stuff to make sure that my photos come out at the best quality that I can make them. I'm always learning, I'm always trying new things, I'm always experimenting and always trying new gadgets and whatnot, whatever I can afford to buy at the time because there's always ways to improve and better yourself and I live by that daily. The minute that I stop striving to get better and stop trying new things is the moment that I'm probably gonna stop doing photography because then what's the point? My home studio here has this white background, including different kinds of lights that are all on me right now. <laughs> I have different color background walls. I have a boudoir section that has a nice little bed area. I have a gold wall. I have all kinds of cool chairs and stuff. And I have a wardrobe room full of clothes, full of shoes, full of wigs, 
full of makeup. It's full. <laughs> And it's really fun because it's like a little treasure cove of adult dress up in there. And I, it's just, it's really fun. In fact, let me give you a little tour. Now the sun is going down a bit. So let me try to show you the studio as best as possible. Over here, I have a couple of the colored walls that I have, including this nice pink wall and this really fun teal blue wall. I have different types of flooring, some black flooring, some white carpet. This actually is upholstered as a Union Jack flag. But I like to put stuff over it so it's also more versatile. I have really cute chairs like that. Behind over here, a nice fireplace and some gypsy stuff. But I constantly change up my settings so they might not always be there, including some different types of backgrounds over here that I'll usually put over here where the white background is. The white background has a nice acrylic plexiglass floor, which gives a cool, reflective look to it. Different kinds of backgrounds. And then over here is my more boudoir area, including this nice little bed setup. This really cute wire-framed chair. And the amazing gold wall. With movable carpet that's meant to look like hardwood floor. How fun is that? I like to have my studio be very movable and changeable because I like everyone's stuff to turn out pretty different. So not everything is meant to stay where it is all the time, but there's endless options here and I'm working to constantly change it up to bring in more different color backgrounds and more stuff to make it even better and more versatile so that I can do pretty much anything here. Over the river and through the woods is the wardrobe room. And here is one of my favorite places because there's so much possibility. There's so much hair and makeup and clothes and a bunch of the work that I've done in the past, including work that inspires me and a bunch of stuff that I've been published in. So you can really get a feel for my work and me as a person as far as what I've done. And really I see me as a person because I really thrown my entire life into this. Like this is me. <laughs> this is what I do all the time. If I'm not like going to the grocery store or living some other doing something going out to the movies it's pretty much all else I do eat food <laughs> I eat food and I go to the movies and I work <laughs> that's pretty much my life but it's because I love it so much so anyway here is my studio here is all the things all the things a bunch of headdresses fun stuff put my banner up there with Bernadette hey more headdresses shoes why are you shoes? Because those are fucking important. Do you not understand? That's like my favorite brand. <laughs> I really shouldn't swear. I'm sorry. Here 
you're interested in booking with me for a shoot, check out my website, tragiclamber.com. I hope you enjoyed this little studio tour and just a little bit about me so you can get a feel for my personality and this whole situation. I know that photo shoots can be really terrifying, especially if you've never done one before. And I like to really take my time with people and show them an experience because this is an experience that you can tell your friends and have fun with and you know, maybe come back and do more photo shoots because it was so much fun. That's what I aim for. So check out my stuff and I hope to see you in my studio soon. No? Yeah.